everyone good morning welcome back to siddharth world your own channel my name is siddharth and i am here to talk about one important aspect which is related to success and failure in life and today is first of feb and this is going to be the first video of this month and success and failure is two different aspect in life one where you get success in the first attempt second where you get success in multiple attempt which means you fail multiple attempts and then you get success there are two ways to measure success in this category when you get success at the first attempt you don't understand how you get it because you don't evaluate just because you got success you start celebrating second attempt at first attempt you fail you realize what went wrong where it went wrong and how it went wrong and then you correct it in the second attempt if that clears out then you have understood but in the second attempt you still lack it something then you go and evaluate only that part of it which you lacked and you correct it because you know that the remaining process were correct so when multiple attempts happen in the first attempt you analyze what went wrong but from second attempt onwards you start realizing what is going wrong what is not going as per the plan third thing is failure is important in life because once you fail you understand how things should be done it does not matter how many times you fail but you should not be failing on the same action every time failure should be like every time you do a new thing if you fail it does not matter but if you learn the art of doing that from the next time onwards then you will improve it so failing one time is okay learning from the failure is important what we fear in life is most importantly we fear of failing we fear that if we fail what happens the society will tell society will always tell even if you pass if you pass in first attempt society will say oh fantastic you passed out you must have done something wrong if you fail society will say oh you did not do it that's why you failed so success and failure should not be measured based on the society's purview but success and failure should be decided based on your understanding and your preparation whether you have prepared to succeed or whether your preparation was there but there was some lacking because of which you failed and failure does not mean end failure means a next option a new opportunity to revamp and bounce back there is always this term that every motivational speaker uses is bounce back bounce back is you failed you went back worked on yourself and come back it happens with everything it happens with individuals it happens with products it happens with services it happens with government it happens with every organization it happens in every aspect failure is a part of success if you fail you come out in a flourishing way if you succeed you succeed it is very hard in terms of managing these aspects you can get success but you might not be able to retain it now what you should be doing in terms of getting that consistency of retaining the success is you need to keep on evolving how you can improvise yourself after attaining success you improvise yourself so that your chances of failure goes down and your chances of remaining success will always be on top but it does not mean that often if you fail you should be panicking no if you fail you should not be panicking but rather you should be focusing on how i can improvise myself so your competition should be with yourself <coughs> sorry your challenge should be with yourself your success should be shared with yourself your failures should be celebrated with yourself whatever it is you want to improve challenge yourself and improve you want to see where you are and where you want to be challenge yourself and see you want where you have to reach and how you have to reach challenge yourself every attempt that you do you should be challenging yourself you should not be competing okay he is doing i will also do she is doing i will also do the perspective of them doing and you doing will be different why they are doing how they are doing what is the requirement for them to do they have asked if you haven't asked the question you should not be doing i do a video because i want to share that content i believe in this piece of content i put this content somebody who will be in need of this content will watch the content but 
it does not mean that because somebody is not there to watch and i should not be building content because i am building a content bank library for the channel which will have in future if somebody comes and watch it will watch but i should not be restricting myself saying oh okay nobody is there to watch why should i do you know there are so many things that i can do which people don't want and then that does not mean that i'll stop it everybody looks at finance videos but how many of them understand finance how many of them have studied finance how many of them can explain finance no not many but everybody loves to tell talk about finance and people believe on them and they start putting money and they start losing money people who have made hundreds of mistakes in finance gives you financial knowledge and we believe and invest why because we don't do the basic research the same way motivation nobody can motivate my me nobody can motivate you nobody can motivate anybody we can only do that boosting as motivational speakers or as informative speakers we only give you pass the information it's ultimately you who take that information and see how it fits your requirement and you utilize it it does not mean whatever i'm speaking in front of the camera and over posting it on my youtube channel will work everything as the way i might be telling in a general way i might be telling from a student point of view i might be telling from a working professional point of view so that the way that if i talk from student point of view that will not match to a working professional if i talk from a working professional point of view that will not eligible for a student so i have to take a common approach yes i also do that how you can be modified but you have to take that general principles and have to see how it works for yourself once you do that what happens is you will gain a lot of perspective and then you can start thinking okay how can if i do like this how it will happen if i do like this how it will happen so you will automatically get calculated you will be automatically able to understand the different aspects of it and that itself will lead you to a successful path so at the conclusion of this video i say measure your success measure your failure what made you succeed note it down what made you fail note it down analyze your failure what when where how why it went wrong what should have been done to avoid this next step do that introspect yourself question yourself interrogate yourself understand what made you do this and why it it should have not been done and that's how you will understand that's how you will find and then you see if you have found the concrete uh, perfect solution for success you should also find a perfect solution that when you fail what you should do and once that failure is done you have understood how to bounce back so before doing anything you will analyze whether it will be having a chances of this and chances of this if if it going to fail how am i going to bounce back that's what your aspect of should be and your agenda should be so with that i end this blog here thank you very much for watching this video and giving your valuable time i know it's not very long it's less than 7 minutes video but eventually this is what the speed of the content that i wanted to do and even yes from tomorrow on uh, from today morning on morning i will post so many youtube shorts uh, unedited direct shorts at the same time i will also put so much content related to finance and other topics so make sure you keep watching and keep um, loving our channel if you haven't subscribed please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon and also if you have subscribed and have already liked the video please hit the uh, comment section and post on your comments post on your queries post on your questions if you want to get in touch with us you can find out all the details in the in description box please do visit and check it out this is wednesday motivation and this video and share and i shall begin with another part of wednesday motivation morning and then followed by the following topics of uh, topics for the block that is going to come out until then this is sidar signing off for now stay safe stay healthy and love yourself leave your parents have a plan for yourself be healthy be good and stay happy and spread the happiness life is one enjoy your life and stay happy forever thank you very much until morning and i shall be back with new video till then keep watching keep exploring the various folders and playlist of siddharth world and we shall be getting back into the new video thank you very much and uh, good night